guys welcome back to my channel today I will be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here I really hope you guys enjoy it I'm really inspired by the makeup that Harouche or makeup by Harouche uh, did on Kim Kardashian she did like some serious um, glittery eyes and they were really orange and metallic and they were really really pretty I hope you guys enjoy the look and I will see you in my next video Bye. I'm using two primers today. I have the NYX Tea Tree Balance Primer. I also have the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. This one is hydrating and pore minimizing. I'm gonna just start off with this because I kind of look at this almost like a lotion or like a moisturizer. It feels really good on the skin. This is the Milani Prime Perfection. And it says pore minimizing and hydrating, which I don't need any hydration but i do need pore minimizing and we're going to put it right where our pores are the size of the state of texas so i'm going to try the pixie glow mist i'm just going to give it a really good shake we're going to move on to foundation i'm going to be mixing the makeup forever hd foundation and then the maybelline dewy and smooth we're just going to stipple the product in it's already going on like a dream on top of those primers. And my pores actually do look slightly minimized. So shout out to Milani for that. Now we're going to move on to concealer. And I'm going to be using my absolute favorite. I'm sorry, but if you're subscribed to my channel, you're tired of seeing this concealer. But you're going to continue to see it. It is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige lately I've kind of been waiting um, just a couple of seconds for my concealer to kind of dry almost um I just kind of wait about 10 seconds before I blend it out for some strange reason I just realize I get extra extra coverage and it lasts longer so I'm just kind of gonna fan my face a little bit and then I'll go and blend I noticed that I get a whole lot more oomph out of my foundation. I mean, not foundation, my concealer. Am I the only one that just wonders how I did my makeup before beauty blenders and sponges and all of that stuff? I remember trying probably a hundred fake beauty blenders because I did not want to spend $20 on the real one. And I was just like, goodness gracious. It was just insane. So I'm going to take my black opal true color foundation stick in suede mocha F55. And I'm going to give you some serious contouring bronzing action. And of course, we're just going to blend this out. It's something about when I have my hair up in like my natural bun, I have to do like intense bronzing around the perimeter of my face just because I feel like my forehead is so huge normally, but it's extra huge when I wear my hair up. So it's like, okay, must contour, must bronze, bring that forehead in just a little bit now, girl. We're going to be setting under the eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Does anybody like still use this? Because I remember at one point this was all the rage. I remember saving up to go buy this powder. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I need it. So I'm packing on the sponge and I'm gonna dab the excess off of my hand and then set under the eye. Let's make sure we set those eyelids. So they won't be up there or getting oily and creasy. Okay, so um, I haven't even talked about it, but this uh, makeup tutorial is inspired by Kim Kardashian. I saw the picture that Staba Harouche did on her and I fell in absolute love. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, this is the most beautiful makeup I've seen in a long time. Now we're going to set everywhere where I put the cream contour. And I'm going to be using the black opal deluxe finishing powder for this what are some of you guys favorite like setting powders let me know because i'm always in the market for a new setting powder anything that will help this makeup last a little bit longer i am in the market for it so i'm gonna take my it's my ray ray palette and i'm gonna go into control freak right here which is a deep brown and I'm literally gonna just fluff it in my crease area on my eye 
with no rhyme or reason, just gonna fluff it. I'm gonna kinda go up by the brow like this and then fluff it out. So I'm just gonna go up by the brow like that, fan it out. I'm gonna go in and highlight the brow bone with Nudist and Pancake. They're just really light, fleshy toned nude colors. And then just go back in with that blending color. Now I'm gonna be using the Jackie Ina and Artist Couture Le Bronze um, highlighter. I wanted to get Le Peach. Auntie Jackie wanted $33. Um, and I could have gotten the bundle, but mm, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna apply that to the eye. Apply the concealer to the eye in no rhyme or reason. I'm gonna go into Le Bronze. This is such a pretty highlight, you guys. Um, as expensive as it is, I had to support Jackie. And then we're going to tap off the excess and then pat that all over the lid. It's something about doing shadows or doing shimmers like this with a big fluffy brush. I don't remember who I saw do it first, but I was like, oh my gosh, like for some reason that looks perfect for hooded eyes. But it wasn't someone with hooded eyes who did it. And um, I tried it and it was just amazing. So like now I either add my shimmer shadows on with a little blending brush like this or my finger. All right, so I have my lashes drying with Max Blunt Blush and a Makeup Geek blush brush. And I'm gonna literally start here. And I'm gonna just go down. I'm gonna do the other side, start at the top of the cheek, but go down to the cheek socket. Kind of doing a candy cane motion. That's kind of the best way I could describe it. And then we're gonna do a little bit with the nose. Okay, now we're gonna do some bronzing. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. Clearly it's my favorite. Like I can't even take myself seriously with this bronzer. It's so good though, for some reason. It's natural hair. It's gonna be a bronzed goddess, you know? I'm gonna be using Apricot, not Apricot, Pearlescent Pink Blush that I used the other day. In my first impressions, I fell in love with this blush as soon as it touched my face. And I'm literally gonna go up. Kim's cheeks were kind of like, I don't know, snatched up. I thought that was really cool. And she had like a really orangey kind of blush on, but me and orange blushes, nope. I'm going to take the Becca Blushed Copper blush or highlight or whatever you want to call it. It's really pretty. I'm going to take that and I'm going to add that on top of my blush. Just a little bit. You do not need a whole lot of this. And then I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to take my little elf, elf brush. Here's my palette. I'm going to take a really small elf brush and then I'm going to go into Spice, that orange. And I'm actually going to mix it with a little bit of Sunset. And then I'm going to put that under the lash line. I'm thinking about buying the 3502. You guys tell me what you think. If you have it, let me know if you like it. Um, I really like the 350. So I really kind of want to give the second one a try. Now we're going to take a really thin brush. And then I'm going to go into Le Bronze. And then I'm gonna just wipe that under the lash line. All right, so there's the eyes. Now I'm just gonna pop on some bottom mascara. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. Um, this used to be one of my favorite, favorite mascaras back in the day. And I had to pick it up again because I remember watching some of my old videos and I was like, what was I using on my bottom lashes? And it was this. All right, so there's the bottom mascara. 
Now let's move on to highlight and lips. So for the highlighter, I'm just gonna use LeBron's and I'm just gonna take what's in the cap. I'm actually going to, of course, y'all tired of it already, but hit them with a little bit of glow. All right, so this is the completed look. I'm just going to add some gloss. Now, Kim had on a very, very nice gloss. And I don't know what it was, but it was super shiny, super metallic and glossy. I have the L'Oreal Infallible 8-Hour Pro Gloss in Dolce de Leche. And it's a really pretty glittery gold. So let's see how this applies. Ah... Uh, I already really like it, actually. You would think that it would pick up a lot more product. But it doesn't. This lip is tremendously uh, intense and, like, metallic. I'm going to set my face. The Flower Cosmetics Seal the Deal Long Lasting Finishing Spray. over that you know I'm gonna hit myself with some of the pixie glow mist I'm gonna go change clothes and then I'll be right back okay so I did change the lip it was just a whole lot for me and I feel like I looked kind of like off I don't know like let me know what you guys are thinking um but I really do like the eyes I love the way that the eyes are just like booming popping shining I love that I'm loving this LeBron's on the eyelids I could not wait to try to put it on the eyes um I'm loving the glow I'm loving at the same time like the highlight the bronziness I really really enjoy this look this is my Revlon sky pink lip gloss I just put like a light layer of that on um so it really toned down the look it just was too much with the metallic lip gloss. I clearly am just not one of those people that can pull off one of those looks. But yes, I'm going to go and fix my bun because it doesn't want to cooperate with me. It's Friday and my bun is like, girl, you're doing too much. You want to wake up and you want to film. <laughs> we need to sleep. We need rest. So I'm going to try to go fix my bun and head off into work look this, this it's ridiculous my bun does not want to go to work but it's okay please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram twitter and snapchat all of those links will be down below and while you're down there hit that thumbs up button i really appreciate it a lot and yes leave a comment if you hate the look if you like the look let me know your thoughts down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye